In this video, I will show you how to create a print preview uh, of your WPF application. So it's a print preview where you may take some uh, WPF uh, control elements or uh, the entire page which uh, is opened. So what I s uh, what I have done here is uh, I took a small code inside there you will find the code uh, below my link from the, that video and in this code we do the following um, we say okay we take an XP, uh, XPS document so this is the from system windows XPS packaging it's a fixed uh, fixed format or fixed pixel format so we write a document uh, and this document is um, when we write this stuff then uh, the document keeps care for the size of that stuff and of printing stuff and it's a serial uh, writer so we say XPS document is new do document and then take a local name anything like whatever you want then say file access read write then we create a writer so first we have the document then we say we need a writer we are writing cre we create the document writer and then we say the writer may uh, create a visual uh, collator so this one uh, takes uh, it's a, a sql a sql output and inside there we say okay begin with the writing with the writing so it's uh, now on the on the disk and then we say write something you may take anything what you want uh, uh, multiple documents in this case I'm writing what's one uh, uh, a control element framework element which I've given given here in my uh, function or method so I say okay give me a uh, give me a control element uh, in my example what you see there uh, it's not open anymore uh, you will see there is you can take one element in this table it's a grid table or the entire page if you want to take the page then give this this um, object in there otherwise you take the WPF uh, element which you have selected a grid or something and then you add in the batch of the writing and you say uh, give me close that stuff and give me uh, the fixed document sequence so this is the pixel by pixel and then we say create me a new window WPF window here uh, window and then we say the content inside there is a document viewer and that's what we see there and show me this as a dialog now I start it I go in there and now I want to see this big frame and the the fir only the first block so it's a application for customer and I say print and now you see that's the print preview of this site so that's the uh, preview uh, document preview and you will find that code on my website at the moment it's only the German website uh, I will also translate it to my uh, English website here's a Kodoku details and inside there you see the stuff and you will find the code in there that's the more important stuff and you have also to take some references what you need there you need the reference for uh, XPS and packaging therefore you go uh, in your package what well, that's my Visual Studio application and inside there you say first in your document here you say using system windows xps and packaging and then you also need the document in serialization and on the other hand you need here under references you go there and add a reference and then you go to add the um, the reach reach framework that's from microsoft and you also take the printing 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 otherwise you get an error so when you take this then every everything will be fine and if you have questions then call me I'm quite sorry that uh, in Microsoft still there's no way to give a to create a, a simple preview 
still uh, Windows Forms, which is a thousand years old and lasts uh, ten century. And other, on the other hand, if you use the uh, the core function, core three function, then you have the problem that uh, your application may only run on Windows 10. So uh, take this what you have there, and uh, it should work. 